welcome back again to this video this is a continuation of the c-sharp beginner series so if you're new here please subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you know when new videos come out previously we had looked at access modifiers please if you miss those please go back to watch those and in this video we'll be starting to look at oop in c-sharp so what is oop oop stands for object oriented programming and it is just a way of programming that focuses on objects and again if you don't know what objects are i encourage you strongly to go back and watch the video on classes versus objects to get a grips of what objects in c-sharp really is it focuses on objects and how the objects interact one with another basically that is basically what op seeks to achieve and you know op provides a way to organize code which are reusable modular and well structured and why this is important is because when you keep writing your application it gets big so fast and if you don't make it or organize your code in a particular manner then it becomes easy to fall apart when there is issues it becomes hard to investigate what could be a problem because everything is modeled up but what oop seeks to achieve is that it makes it reusable it makes it modular we can know okay it's within this particular model the structure is well laid out so that is a primary uh, purpose of oop now there are pillars of oop three of them i will will be discussing the we're looking at encapsulation inheritance and polymorphism these three we will delve them into them deeply in the next videos uh, but i just wanted to put them out now that these are the three we'll be looking at in this series so this is where we'll be ending this video because i just wanted to put out what op was and just give us a small introduction of what op in the next video as i've said we'll be looking at encapsulation inheritance and polymorphism one after the other sequentially in that order i hope to see you in that video